Ute, now you're ready to implement your landing zone. How would you go about that? Well, there are a number of different options, uh, some of which we've already talked about. Uh, but let's talk about Control Tower. So Control Tower was created specifically for landing zones. And it's possible to create your landing zone uh, in really a matter of minutes, or certainly under an hour. Uh, this allows you kind of a, a dialogue-based approach, uh, in which case it asks you a number of questions uh, as you uh, sort of work through the, the wizard, and then you click Go, and off it goes and creates uh, your different accounts using the AWS kind of recommended architecture, which is quite similar to the one that we covered earlier. So Control Tower is a really good option. However, uh, it doesn't implement things uh, as code. And uh, as, as we know, infrastructure as code is really a good way to uh, ensure your security, governance, uh, traceability, all these good things that, that we've come to, to use in, in recent years. So Control Tower is, is uh, certainly an option, but uh, probably a better one would be the Landing Zone Accelerator. So we've talked about this quite a bit uh, earlier in the video, uh, but a landing zone accelerator is uh, really sort of taking it to the, the next level uh, and would be uh, considered kind of above control tower. Uh, it allows you to have your uh, infrastructure as code, which would be best practice. It's fully supported by AWS as well. So if you do have problems with it, you can raise those with AWS support. Uh, and is uh, a really good way of moving forward. So uh, a third option would be to uh, bring in an expert. So we at Appvia uh, have deployed many landing zones for different organizations. Uh, and we take a lot of the, the hard work out, out of it. We work with you as an organization to understand what your needs are and uh, when we implement a landing zone, it would be following best practice from AWS. Uh, it would use the landing zone accelerator. But we know the right questions to ask and the challenges that, that can come up with using these technologies, which will allow you to implement a, a really firm foundation for your AWS landing zones. So what are some next steps? Well, there's a wealth of information available from AWS. So those are things like white papers, uh, videos, tutorials that can really help you get started. So that, that can be a really good uh, way of educating yourself and building up a picture of uh, how the cloud can deliver for you. Uh, we'd love to speak to you about your landing zone. Uh, we're experts in landing zones. We've helped lots of different organizations to uh, create their, their solid, firm foundations within the cloud. And we'd love to speak to you about how uh, your journey has been so far, but also where you see yourself going. Uh, finally, you need to uh, keep evolving. Once your landing zone has been deployed, that's not kind of the end, the end of the game. Uh, it needs to be kept up to date. Uh, we've seen many companies having multiple versions of their landing zone as they evolve and how their business evolve and new services come along. So they, they need to be able to take advantage of those. So it's not simply implement your landing zone and job done. Uh, like anything, it needs maintaining, it needs uh, best practice to be implemented. I hope that's been useful as we've explored AWS landing zones. If you've got any questions or want to get in contact, please uh, comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for other videos as we cover different topics within AWS and Azure. Bye.